Once more onto the breach, dear friends, once more. It's the final of domestic rugby's most auspicious competition, the Carlin Curry Cup, to be contested between the Vodacom Bulls and the South Sea Sharks right here behind me. In a replay of last season's final, we can only hope that today's fixture carries the same prestige, the same drama, and most importantly, the same result, as the Vodacom Bulls look to be the first team in 17 years to successfully defend their Carlin Curry Cup crown, and the first team in history to win two Carlin Curry Cups in one calendar year. Welcome to Bullseye TV, wherever you are, wherever you may be listening. My name is Mark Nkaro, I'm joined as always. Yes sir, yes sir. I'm happy to didn't say 17 years again. <laughs> Rugby's finest, Marcos, the epic Vodacom Bulls going at for another number 25 Curry Cup. It's unbelievable, Mark. I, I'm getting goosebumps. It's like electricity running through my veins, like being here with no fans. Imagine there were 60,000 fans there, Marcos. This is unbelievable. I'm so excited, Marcos. This is the darlings of Tuane are taking on the darling championship of world rugby. It's unbelievable, Marcos. Most definitely, and we can't look ahead before we look back. So, I mentioned it earlier, the last Carling Curry Cup final happened right here behind us. Again, South Sea Sharks, Vodacom Bulls. And that final took 100 minutes for us to win. The Sharks came here, heavy underdogs, uh, underestimated, I think, mm. by many. And they gave a really good account of themselves. They were winning that game for about 60-odd minutes. Mm. It took a heroic effort, Herculean effort from Dwayne Vermeulen, and the famous tap and go there. And then Anu Boetis try at the end that sealed it. Let's ensure that uh, that doesn't happen again. Yeah, Mark, I don't think, I don't think that's going to happen today. I think our boys are, you know, they're waxed now. You know what's coming? We, we just need to keep the game within 80 minutes today. And I think the boys know that, you know, we just need to stick to our basics, stick to what we know, and we, we've got this, my boy. Well, your notes are running away from yeah. you. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's, no, <laughs> let's have a look at the lineups. Why don't you take us through what or some of the Sharks. Who are yeah. the players in that Sharks, South Sea yeah. Sharks lineup you look yeah, at? Yeah, Marcus, like, I'm looking at boys like Quasi Mona, you know, he's a big boy. I'm looking at him at the field. The first time I've seen him actually live, he's really, really strong scrummage. I've seen him, you know, his scrumming technique is very good. You know, you know I'm, I'm scrumming and I've got like angles and he's very good. It's, I came from fear and when we saw him just outside Loftus Park now, I'm surprisingly a big boy. Eh? He, he could be a seven, that boy. And then I'm looking at... Uh, but he, he couldn't hit sand if he fell off a camel though. <laughs> Line after eggs, a bit iffy. And then Marcus, and then, uh, then in the back, you, you, you can't not mention Pepsi Butelezi, the captain, you know, the man who's tipped by many to be a future Springbok captain. Who knows? Halfback playing, Lionel Cronier has had a good season. In, in the back three, uh, um, um, I mentioned um, <laughs> Dakir and um, <laughs> Dakir and Yao Peng, and then we'll, 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 we'll chat about the 15 ladder, Marcos. <laughs> Not a big good, man, I'll take it. Yeah, this is non-existent, to have just like he's on defence, boy. <laughs> just uh, looking at that Vodacom Bulls lineup, uh, pretty tried and tested. There are a few changes there. We'll get to the big one. Johan Hoerson, of course, is out. He returned a positive COVID test. Chris Smith in. Massive day for him. As I said, we'll get to that in a moment. Also looking at uh, at nine, Zuck Berger. Of course, he's been the stalwart at nine. Uh, speaking of stalwarts, Harold Forster, Lionel Mapu together. Tried and tested combination. Back three, Davy Krill, safe as houses. Maros Tambwe, he's the lightning on the one flank. And uh, Cornel Hendricks on the other flank. Getting to the pack, Ulrich Lowe, Arnu Boerter, Marcel Katia. You don't get much better than that oh, in world yeah. rugby. Definitely not, Marcus. That is a 
very, very strong team. It's a team that we, we trust in, we believe in, and a team we've seen, um, um, you know, especially the last couple of weeks, that has, has, has done the job and that the greater problem. So I'm happy, Marcos. Most definitely. And uh, I mentioned the change. Jan Gersen, return to positive COVID test. He is out. Massive blow. Let's listen to our coach, Jake White. He had quite a bit to say about that. And Chris Smith coming slotting in at number 10. Exactly, exactly that, Heinz. I mean, I, you know, I think, uh, you know, not comparing, but it is like it is. Uh, if you look at the minutes that, you know, Tim Sweel played for province, or you look at the minutes in the last couple of months that uh, Kerwin Bosch played at 10, and the lack of game time the other players have got that were understudies to those players, you know, it comes back to bite you when you haven't prepared like that. So I'm confident, you know, a guy like Chris has had enough experience, he's played enough with his group, he's trained enough with his group, he's uh, managed to get some sort of success in this group as well, which gives him confidence as well. Um, and, 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 and let's be fair, I mean, I've also, you know, I, I've got a back person not to be with us forever. He's going to be in the Springbok setup. That's how I see it. Um, and if he is, then we've got to make sure that we, we have a, you know, capable lieutenant. And, we, and I think we do. Well, if you have been living under a rock, you might not know that Jan Gersen is out of, of the team. Vodacom <sighs> Bulls team today about to contest Colin Curry Cup final. It's uh, not the news you want to hear. And we, we spoke about it earlier off camera that if, Jake, if there's one player, Jake White, would not want to return a positive COVID test or be out of injury, yeah. it's, it's Jan Gersen. He's the linchpin, the kingpin of that back line. Everything works around him. Do you know, Mark, um, and to the Bulls fans, you know, um, when you told me at the beginning of the week that he um, it was, you know, it, it was the COVID case, I couldn't believe it. Like, you know, the man who's been like the pivot, the man who's been so integral to since since um, um, one last Harry Potter has gone, <laughs> has just joined the box. He's been such a great signing. He's been like really, really instrumental to where we are and the way we play. You know, setting the base, the way he plays. But with that said, Marcus, opportunity arises for the man who's born for the big moments, Chris Smith. So tell me about that. Yeah, it's Christmas time. Yeah. Um, it's time. It is. We've, we've got a policy here next man up Jan Horsen's out horrible of course he's mm -hmm. crucial but next man up is Chris Smith we don't have more stain Chris Smith opportunity for him to really grab it by the horns and prove that he is worthy of being a starting caliber fly half in a Colin Curry Cup final he's not Johan Horsen like let's let's get that out of the way mm -hmm. Jan Horsen is a one in a billion talent Chris Smith isn't that but Chris Smith has a brilliant kicking game he can marshal the troops he's got a deceptively good running game as well he scored some brilliant tries and there's a massive opportunity at his doorstep to make a name for himself and and prove that he's worthy of being starting caliber and Marcus, when chris when chris sticks to his basics he is so good you know when he's just, he, he's just simplicity is key for chris and just he does the basics he'll he'll, he'll shine today remember that, that lions game he was just unbelievable he's exceptional yeah so the other change that I'm looking at, Joe Van Sale starting at two, Skulk Erasmus is out, Jake White didn't want to risk him, hey. Jan Henrik off the bench, I know you're a massive fan of Joe, but uh, Jake White had quite a bit to say about uh, Joe Van Sale starting at two, so let's listen to our coach. Um, look, I mean, Joe does his basics really well, Ashfak. Um, I think also Skulk uh, came out of the game last week, he... You know, he's all right now, but he wasn't all right to train Monday and Tuesday. And I just thought, look, you know, we're going to prepare with a proper team. We're not going to try and get, you know, guys a 50-50 in by Thursday. So, you know, at this point in time, Joe, got a, he got training on Monday, Tuesday, gave us good prep time. And then I've obviously got Jan Hendrick, who I've got lots of faith in on the bench. Well, other facets I want to look at is uh, off the bench. And our bench has had a massive impact in this Carling Carry Cup. You're looking at some Piwe Matanzima. You're looking at Jan Hendrick Vessels, Sheep, who's come in and just been bulldozing people all over the park. Marcos, the Blue Bomb Squad, you know, it's been a thing. It's a thing now. It is a thing. It's taken us You've over. You've made it a thing. Yeah. <laughs> but for my, my boy, and like the setting for them, you know, these boys, I think these boys, like they're all, they're all training right now. If they can set a great pace for them, you know, they finished the game, so Jan Hendrik Vessels is such a bull, you know, we call him the bull in the chant, the, 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 the run that's escaped the circus, that you, as you love to say, Marcus. Uh, that's, it's such exciting. I'm so excited, Marcus. I'm, 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 <laughs> <laughs> looking, looking at some matchups, I want to start with the loose forwards. There's a couple here, but let's chat with Marcel Kutsier. He's going up against Dylan Richardson today. Mm. Marcel, captain, true to the blue, proper. You would bleed for this franchise and it, and it would be blue blood if it came out and, of him. He is Mark, just a machine. Yeah, he's a machine. That, that, that matchup, is like obviously there is a junior man who likes to get under your skin but um regardless of his attitude <laughs> his rugby ability is unbelievable he is a good rugby player i really rate him marcus he's good over the ball but he's coming up against a different beast he's coming up to, for me one of the best sixes in world rugby you know in in the last decade one of the best sixes i've seen in world rugby i'm sure you can agree with, with me there marcus and then you look at henko and um uh, and, and on other side yeah Ulrich. um yeah uh Ulrich at eight he is 
he's an absolute machine. He's been, in my opinion, our best player in the Carling Curry Cup. I think uh, him and, and Goose is another player who's up there. But for me, Ulrich Lowe, he's fundamental to the way we play. Consistently over the advantage line, good in the wider channels, good line-out option. He's a good skill set as well. Scores some tries, creates tries. He's the ideal number eight, and he's really filled Dwayne's shoes as well. Uh, yeah, and I think a lot of the, like you said, like, fills Dwayne's shoes perfectly. Like, so you hit, you hit more, you literally say, say, what you say like, the presence, you know, you need a presence a pres at number eight, and he's, he's, he's just like that. And like Uncle Warren. <laughs> also looking at Anu Boerta, and uh, he's, a, he's a player that's particularly, has become fundamental. And I think when he first arrived here, yeah, maybe half a step slow on the pace, but he's grown into that role. He's a ferocious ball carrier we use him in midfield off of set piece to get a, get advantage and, and get over the advantage line and then we can play left or right from midfield so he's going to be fundamental today not not the best at the breakdown that's not really his role but over the advantage line every single carry yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he's like his ball carrying ability and like so i think when he got that the, the, the captain's armband like the, the invisible captain's armband he really 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 Took, like, took that to the fold. Now, he really stepped in those shoes and he became a better player. You know, he, he, like, he really you know, stepped up to the plate. So it was lovely to see. And since then, it's just been phenomenal. Um, a big, big ups to Anu Boerta. You know, I was, I'll be honest, I was like, you know, <laughs> out of the boys, like, I wasn't like, yeah, Anu, Anu is, you know, he's probably, he's can't probably sell by that, but the man is still playing great rugby. Well, speaking of captains, Ombad, Pepsi Butelezi, captain for the Sharks. He's the number eight. We're looking uh, across the scrum, or Ulrich will be looking at him across the scrum. This is, uh, he's some player, isn't he? He's been knocking on, uh, honors for, for, for the Springboks for quite some time. Dynamic is the word that comes to mind. He's an absolute athlete, quick in the wider channels around the park, big work rate on him. And he's going to have to lead that physical charge because if the Sharks team doesn't pitch up physically, it's good night Vienna. Yeah, yeah, Marcus, uh, um, just, uh, you know the last game against VAP, we, um, um, I chipped with we said, yes, he's a good eight, but he doesn't have that physical presence. Pepsi does have that physical presence. So maybe that could work against us today, which I, I, I highly doubt. <laughs> but yeah, Marcus. Another battle I'm very interested in, yeah. Flyhoff. Flyhoff's going to be crucial. And we, we chatted about Chris Smith. Uh, he is he's crucial to the cause. He's the crux of the back line at the moment today. In any final, you look at your 10, he's got to kick his points. That's crucial. He's got to put us, pin us in the right areas of the field. He's going up against a really, really wily veteran mm. in Lionel Cronio. He's been around the block. He's been just about everywhere. That's going to be a mouth-watering clash. Yeah, that's going to be a mouth, mouth-watering clash. Where, where, obviously, it's a biased commentary, if you didn't know. <laughs> um, where Chris Smith has the edge is because Chris Smith is made for the big moments. We've seen him in big moments doing so well, Marcos. And Chris Smith, if we, like I said, simplicity is key for Chris, the man from D Street, the sex boy. Simplicity is key for him. If he can do that, he will, he will, he will don, he'll be a legend of this place. He really is a legend. He, at Newlands, he kicked, well, was supposedly the last points, but, uh, you know, he kicked those points and he, he's a man for the big moments. And I think Lionel Curry has had a good season, but Chris just needs to keep simplicity have to have, have composure, give the pass. Stick you know, to the fundamentals. 100% so. Most definitely. And then Marcos, the yeah. 13s, my man. It's look, Winnie the Pooh, where are you? Lionel Mapu, who's for me one of the best, one of the best, the, one of the best players of the season for me, against the Werner Cock, the sevens man. Would you call yourself a big cock fan? Eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's going to be, I mean, Lionel Mapu has breathed life into this, into this attack, especially in the wider channels. He splits the defense open like a coconut. Great offloading game. He's got a great understanding of space and ability to exploit it. So he's he's been a fundamental signing for Jake White. I think he was starting to get a little bit long in the tooth for the Lions. Went overseas. He's come back a new player and he's just, yeah, he's just reliving what, what made him a Springbok in he, the first place. He literally looks like we were chatting about that, like, um, last week. Mark, he literally he's playing like a player that is like you know when you when you like 10, 19 years old when you just got rugby ball. You're just like he's, he's, chomp, he's chomping at the bit. Am I right? Yeah, you're Take right. It you right. Got it. Yes, I got it right. <laughs> he's and Van Vanekog, he's going to have to lock down Vanekog today because if that man gets going, it's it's dangerous because he's so physical he's strong in the contact point he's got a deceptively quick turn of pace if we get him yeah, he's going quick. Yeah. he's a sevens boy really, exactly. really, yeah. last battle i want to look at kk back threes <laughs> massive today yeah massive today i think our back three is phenomenal today mark we've got david krill who's for me has been stand out the best 15 in curry cup rugby this year for me he's been phenomenal he really has stuck it really um, has come into those shoes and like he's Made that 15 jerseys own, you know. Um, you know the 15 jerseys are very. It's a, it's a tough position, Marcos, to play 15. You know, you you're controlling. Yes, you you're second pivot, or you can be. And he's done both. You know, sometimes he's played a second pivot. Sometimes he's attacked the line. He's been a really good. Mado Stambe, the violation. Need I say more? And then Cornwall Hendricks, my man. But on the Sharks, are you looking at there? <laughs> I'm looking at I'm looking Takir. at Diaw and Takir. And yeah. then don't don't talk about 15. <laughs> 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 
but but Taki is dangerous. You have to give the man some juice there. If we, no. if we if he gets in space, he's he's very lethal. We're gonna have to shut shut him down as well. And then Cohen Bosch. I know we don't like to talk about him, and he's non-existent defensively. But uh, as you mentioned earlier about a second pivot, he literally is a pivot yeah. now playing at fullback. So again, if he gets the ball on the front foot, he can open up a little bit. Maybe he can be dangerous. Maybe I'm being kind here. Yeah, 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 my mug, mug really has been kind here. Yeah. I didn't think so because yeah. no, 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 not just not just look to Cohen Bosch, but uh, Cohen up there. I think your defensive abilities today, the Loftus fans are going to play against you, my man. Well, yeah. you'll be the one player coming <laughs> off in a in a clean white jersey or black jersey. <laughs> no, no, we can bet on that. <laughs> So uh, we've, we've touched on the Sharks. Let's do a little bit more and, and let's talk about the way that they play. They like to aggravate. I think that's the, that's the one word that comes to mind is the Sharks players like to aggravate. They like to get under your skin. They like to get in your face. They like to listen to the line-out calls. They like to be those kind of irritants. That's their game plan. Do you know what, Marcos? Um, there, is, there are mind games, right, in, in rugby, you know, you know trying to, to get the mental edge. But then there's just poor, poor, poor behavior. And that's what I've seen from the Sharks, you know. Um, Jake has spoke about it. We've seen it game in, game out. We watch games where just in your skin and like, and it's, 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 it's past even in your mind game. It's just like kind of childish and pettish. I really don't like to say it. And like, uh, they better not do that here because they, 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 there might be not 60,000 people here, but there are a couple of million people in Pretoria, yeah. my boy. And there's you and me as well. Yeah, we well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. But I mean, Dylan Richardson, I think, is crucial to that. And him and Dwayne got into a bit of a scrap last time. Well, not the last time, but in the last season that we played pure there in Durban. Us. Pure disrespect on yeah. Dylan Richardson's yeah. part. I think he galvanized our entire a pack that wanted to target him not a good idea from him and I think he's been a little bit quieter ever since that moment yeah. but Jake White had quite a bit to say about the South Sea Sharks and about the way they play as irritants and how they like to aggravate so let's uh, let's listen to Jake White on that I think it's a very important thing I think you would have noticed that the Sharks I mean obviously that is part of I suppose of, of what they try and do is get under your skin um, seems to work against certain opposition um, but again, we spoke to the referee, we spoke to the head of referees, I think they on, on song. You know, it's obviously something that they're going to try and clamp down on. I mean, I'm sure you saw last week as well that, uh, that uh, incident where one of their players actually laughed at, uh, at a player who broke his arm. You know, again, that sort of thing is, is not acceptable and, and, you know, I'm sure that... Well, another point to look was, at, uh, physical you know, dominance. A, ...a line in the sand from the official's point of view to make sure that uh, there's got to be some sort of control. Another space to look at, physical dominance, going to be crucial. We talk about it. I mean, our rugby game is, is written in sand. Pack dominance is important. Physically, we need to dominate the Sharks today. I think we will. I think we've got the pack to do it. But that's been the name of the game, this uh, Jake White team. I know we like to play flashy and we score some phenomenal tries that we haven't seen at Loftus Fastfield in a decade. But it's all off the back of a world-class, world, potentially World Cup winning pack, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah, yeah, Marcus, you're so right. And, like, and holistically, like, you know, the game last weekend against VAP was unbelievable. Like, it was pure rugby dominance, you know, in terms of like, the, we were playing the right areas of the field. We had the possession, um, you know, at breakdown, we were quality. You know, we, were, we weren't giving away too many penalties. Um, at set piece time, we were really good, Marcus. And you also, like, dominance is going to be crucial in this game. I think if we play like we played against VAP last weekend, squeeze their midfield, I think it's, it's tickets. I agree. I mean, yeah. every time a Western Province player had the pull in his hands, he was driven back, he was ragdolled, Ulrich running up in your face, Anu Buerta. You, the Sharks aren't going to have a happy 80 minutes here if they're running in Ulrich's channel, in Yanku's channel, in Mornay Smith's channel. They're going to get knocked backwards and it's going to be a bit of a rude awakening for and, these and, boys from Durban. Yeah, it really is, Marcus. Even running into like the, 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 um, the, the outside back channels, those, these are hard hitters. Lano Mapu put in a Cornel number of Hendricks. massive hits. Yeah. Cornel Hendricks is not a, is, is not a soft man. Yeah. We, we, this is a, these, these are hard baggers. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of hard buggers, let's have a look at the set piece. Set piece was crucial last week. Our lineouts were brilliant. We did go against a Western Province second row that was on the shorter side, <laughs> both six foot four, retreated loose forward. And, and we, we didn't let them forget that, did we? Marcus? No, we didn't. We hopped on it the whole game. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we've got two kings of the air, in my opinion, kings of the skies in uh, Yanku Swanpo and Ruan Okiana. I mean, we keep saying it every week, maybe they lack a little bit of that nastiness and that kind of edge that you want from that enforcer role. But it doesn't really matter if you let your game do the talking and you mm. consistently get over the advantage line. We keep talking about it. You're king of the air. Every line-out ball you're bringing in, you're good at more time and you, you make some big hits as well. Yes, Marcus, you know, we always speak about the two fives, you know, and like how we've had two fives. And, you, and you're so right, like Yanku, like you, like you say, has really learned 
to to make that to, to, to take that in stride as a player you know taking the ball the advantage like he's really building himself to be a four or five versatility lock he really is been i'm so so impressed with him so i think our, our, our second row is just superior today as well we just need to do the basics right i promise you marcos we're going to be celebrating tonight we talk, i agree yeah. but we're talking about uh, being superior there is one man in that second row that uh, you especially fond of little roots who's a bit of a meat fridge isn't he that, that boy's going to be a book I'm too, that yeah. man, that man is meaty, and also you know, it's all good and well to be huge, huge. It's all good and well to be huge, but like to use your body weight like that, and he's and he's not slow, and he's really good in the air. He's works hard. He gets around the rugby field. He's destructive at the at the at the breakdown. So yeah, he's if there's one person maybe in the Sharks team that I'm maybe maybe looking at, it's probably Lelou Roots. Yeah, we need to shut him down quickly, and yeah. I think we've got the pack to do it. Even after yeah. double tackle him, I mean, he's about 145 kgs. Mm. Uh, you know. I mean, behemoth. he's about 6'9", a massive boy. As he chucks so, his weight around yeah, the point. So we, we need to stop him. But let's move a little bit away from the pack and the nastiness and the dark arts. Let's have a little look at the way we play our style of, of game, which has really excited. It's been a, a breath of fresh air in Pretoria and Limpopo, or, or for all Vodacom Bulls, for all Vodacom Bulls supporters. <laughs> the way we've been able to throw the ball around, play in the right areas, but when it's on, it's on, and we can exploit that space very well. Yeah, it's been great to see, Marcus. You know, especially you know, we always speak about set piece and how strong we are scrum time and line out time, and like, but. When we're in the right areas of the field, my goodness, those three, those three thirteens, we smallest speak, those three thirteens on the field and they're on the field today. When that ball gets to top, Harold Foster, who can just, you know, just keep an inside ball, outside ball. Uh, uh, like, oh, you can call on Hendricks outside, you can baby call, who's the second pivot. It's just there is so much ingenuity out there. It's unbelievable, Marcus. Most definitely, but what's going to be especially important today, without Johan Goos, and I know there's a video playing with Johan Goos and throwing these wild skip passes and they're right in the bread basket and they give guys, like you mentioned, Cornel Hendricks, free spill to get on get on the outwides and basically license to kill when you get that ball in your hands. We don't have Johan Goos and throwing those balls around today. How is, is Chris Smith's presence going to affect the way we play? Are we going to change the way we play? Are we going to be more tailored to his skill set today? Or are we going to just play like we've been playing, which is less as fair with No, 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 no. I, th I think, Marcus, I think it's going to be less as fair. I think uh, having Chris Smith there having as a pivot, Morning Stan is, is not a 10 like Ron, of course, who does like, you know, over the head, but like he does the job. I think Chris Smith is like a Morning Stan, but obviously not at that level yet. Um, so he'll, 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 he'll be, he'll be, you know, he'll, he'll do the job. He'll, he'll literally spread the ball. He'll set a good base for us, for, for the other boys to, to do the job. Okay, okay. While you've been talking, the Chelsea Sharks have run out a little bit early. Had locked this yeah. fast. <laughs> and that's just We're getting ready. Care about them. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting ready for the Vol Vodacom Bulls to run out here. Carling yeah. Curry Cup chasing yeah. number 25. KK, take it away, yeah. boy. Yeah, yo, yo. Yo, and then Tanda Nonga names him Afrik. Then Tanda Nonga names him Afrik. Ow, 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 the capital of South Africa, with the capitals, the best, I think, of world rugby, club-wise. As the boys come out to make a tunnel, it's a beautiful setting, isn't it, Marcos? Beautiful conditions the, as well, the heavens, strong underfoot. The heavens, yeah, strong underfoot, the heavens have really, really, really done us, you know, justice today. And, and as I see, as before our boys walk out, I and mean, look at these boys, they're very cock. Lelou Roots, they are, they, they just look so, they shouldn't be here. What are they doing here? What are they doing here? I'm just so keen, Marcos, and here they come, Marcos. There's Christmas, Matosh, Tamweko, now Hendrix, our darlings, our heroes. Here they come, Marcos. Here they come. The darlings of China led out by the man himself, Marcel Kutsia. The Curry Cup, the calling Curry Cup final. 2020. This is unbelievable. Can he rata? Can rata? Let's go. It's game time. I'll tell you what. This is quite an atmosphere for about 170 people <laughs> at capacity here at Loftus Fastball. Look at this second seat, boy. This is unbelievable. Well, it's about to be a national anthem, KK, if you want to stand. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Perfect conditions for a bit of rugby, especially for a Colin Curry Cup final. Vodacom Bulls looking ferocious. I wish you could see them live ahead of me. They almost look like a subhuman next to the Sharks. The sharks look like men. Vodacom Bulls look like monsters. And Marcos, this is history, isn't it? Um, you know, this is this will probably be the last, hopefully, the hopefully the last Curry Cup game in front of no one. You know, you know, it, this is unbelievable, Marcos. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Let's take a moment. Let's take a moment for our national anthem.
Jeez. There we go. That is chilling. That is chilling. There we go. God bless South Africa. <laughs> My goodness. Carling Carry Cup, final time. Vodacom Bulls chasing number 25. Wow. Stirring, is it not? Here we go, ready for kickoff. It's a replay of the 2020 season. Right here, the Vodacom Bulls defeated the Salsi Sharks after 100 minutes of gripping, thrilling rugby. It took heroics from Arnu Boeta to score the Carling Carry Cup winning try. What a day that was. We're getting ready here to sip some champagne out of that cup in 80 minutes' time. Yeah, Marcos, Bulls legends. I see a, a couple of Bulls legends. I see family members. You know, they're the ones who are lucky to make it in here. It's a family affair, yeah, Marcos. To all the Loftus faithful, and to all the Loftus faithful, just to remember one thing. Well, not remember that. I'm telling you one thing. This is, this is going to get you guys very happy. We are giving away a year's supply of Carling Black Label. Give us your comments, share the post, and give words, words, words of wisdom. And ask us, ask us questions if you want to know what's happening here at Loftus. There's legends around us. There's guys like, you know, there's legends. We really, really are surrounded by greatness here. So let's go. And off the back of that incredible announcement, Cohen Bosch kicks us off here at Loftus. Fast felt straight to Ulrich Lowe. He's going to be crucial today and he needs to carry with Venom every time he gets the pill in his hands. Inside our 22, Zuck Berger, we're looking to clear. He box kicks. And he finds a good distance as well. Mm. Up to let's about get, the 10 meter line. Let's good get the territory, Marcus. Vodacom Bulls, yeah. Yeah, let's get the territory. Good start. And then that Arik Lowe already are on the pull for, for first, first carry over the bondage line. Let's get the ball out, kick it out. Oh, exciting times there, isn't it, Marcus? Woo! Line out for the South Sea Sharks. Their first opportunity to manufacture something here. Lineouts have been a bit shaky for the men from Durban. And I think that's an understatement. You know, interesting to see they've got, you know, they've got, they've got two, there were six, they've got Pepsi Boutelais and Kerridge just, just outside the 12. What are they going to do? Uh, they're just going to, you know, they're going to be the cleaners. Nohamba. Here comes Henku Fenter. Gets met physically by Marcel Kutsia. Going through the phases now, the Salsi Sharks. Nohamba, once again, Pepsi Boutelais, the captain. Lionel Cronier, the Wiley veteran. Bosch gets it into the wider channel, trying to feed his outside backs and they get over the advantage line as well. Celsius Sharks making some meters here. There's the monster. That is Thomas de Toy, the Springbok tight head prop. Cronier. LaRue roots from one monster to another, but he's Spice driven mate, backwards. Oh, Mornay Smith, they are they working the boys. Dylan Richardson. Lionel Mapu. Harold Forster working in tandem that they've done almost their entire professional career. Here comes the Humber again. Roots out the back door. Grobala tackled low, chop tackle by Marcel Kutsia, our captain today. Cohen Bosch. Yeah, Pentley finds some space. The Sharks are working the blind side. They get up to our 22 meter line. It's good defense though, Marcos. It really is good defense here. We're squeezing them. Marcel Kutsia, I think it's over. The oh! So really? Kutsia almost stole that ball. Lionel Kronia puts it on the inside to Henku Fenter. The good tackle there by Gerrit Stienekamp, the man from Poch of Ström. Cronier changes the point of attack. It's a poor pass. Jeremy Ward. The great PE boy. Sharks have gone through a number of phases, gaining very little ground. We over that ball again. We over that ball again. Yes, and we won it. Boys. And it looks like it's Ulrich Lowe who wins the turnover. Exceptional work. We contested a, contested a number of breakdowns. That time we were successful. Yeah, Marcus, and, and, and it looks like a breakdown time. I know we always can, but it looks like the boys, uh, the loose trio is really going to be disruptive in trying to get over that pull, like you always say, Marcus. And yeah, I think, yeah, you're all right. It was the man, the big man, the big number eight. Best eighth man in SA rugby right now, for sure. Ah. Well, it looks like winning that uh, ball's taken its toll a little bit. He stayed down. But uh, I'll tell you what, it'll take a lot more than that to uh, drag Ulrich Lowe off of the field in a Carling Carry Cup final. Already making his presence felt. Yeah, and, and, and Gerard Rousseau, thank you Gerard. Keep your comments coming, just saying, Lowe, yo, Easter. He really, he really agrees with us here, Marcos. And to all the fans listening at home, just remember that you can win a year's supply of Carling Black Label. You have to share the post, you have to comment. You could walk away. A year's supply of Carling Black Label, can you believe it? Yeah, and also if you're the winner, please invite me to yours.
Burkham Bulls first chance to attack. Adam Foster! Let's go, boy! Let's go! Go, boy! He's got Justin Abrams. He's got Marshall Shumway on his outside. He scores the try! Try time. Harold Forster. First opportunity ready for the Vodacom Bulls just inside the Sharks, Salsi Sharks territory. Harold Forster running a beautiful angle. We say he's got better angles than Pythagoras. <laughs> Runs it perfectly. He had Maros Tambui on his outside, didn't need him. Gets tackled, reaches, scores he a reaches try. Reaches out, no double movement. Beautifully, beautifully executed move there by the Vodacom Bulls. Harold Forster, the Harold the Hulk, as I think uh, one of our supporters called him. Harold the Hulk gets over the, gets over the trial and gets the pull over the whitewash. Ah. It was the a perfect line. Of course, it was a defensive error, the slip there by the Vodacom Bulls midfielder. Harold Forster just slices them like cake. It's, and he, he showed a clean pair of heels as well to get on the outside of Abrams and score the try. Abrams is no slouch. Yeah, no, he's no slouch, no slouch at all, Marcos. He's a quick boy. And also, I mean, we, do, we always speak about um, Harold Forster and about his, like, his technical ability. But that was nice to see him driving, you know, driving at the line, running great lines. That was beautiful. And here's Chris. Here's Chris Smith. Opportunity to convert, add the extras after five minutes. He had lost his fast fault. Bit of a tough kick, it's actually right in front of us. Oh, no, he's missed it. Oh. Just to he's the like left. Christmas. Head up, boy, head up, head up, head up. It looks sweet off the boot, but just just uh, floating away mm. to it the really, left of the upright. Yeah, from my angle, it really looked good, you know. Harold Forster. Initially ball in the wrong hand, switches hands, great presence of mind, uses the fin to just delay the tackle a little bit from Abrams and then reaches over. And yeah, Marcus, with that, with that switch in the ball, you know, um, to, um, you know, for young running players, you always get taught, dude, you know, when you go into contact, always, you know, have the opposite hand, um, have the ball in the opposite hand of who's, who's you know, who the defenders are coming at. I'll just low again, Marcus. He, ca he takes it off of the restart so many times. He's instrumental in that role. Just reminds me of a Dwayne Vermeulen who was safe as houses. Uh, at eighth man and collecting kickoffs, collecting up and unders. Orech Lowe looking to fill those boots. Opportunity now for the Vodacom Bulls to get out of their own 22. Here comes Zach Berger. He's so good from the base of the ruck, but that kick is That's very a high. Kick. A Cornell's kick. contesting yes. Cornell's won it. Oh, he oh, just hard. lost at Corner Henry. It was a great contest from the right winger. Sharks at sixes and sevens, really. Very out of sync. Ku and Bosch beats the first man. Lano Kronje looks a bit disorientated. Grobela, big tackle on Gerbrand Grobela. Sharks are in trouble here, Marcos. They're meeting a different beast here. Oh! Fear and smashed. Yeah, Cut in half by Gerbrand. <laughs> Van Fier needs more jump there. <laughs> Bosch, he gets on the outside. Looking to turn the corner. He throws the offload. Jeremy Ward throws another one. Abrams has it. Anu Boeta straggles him into touch. Yeah! Guys, come on, boy! I've been riding yes, Anu man! I'll tell you what, Anu Boeta is fired up for this game, my word. Yo, Marcos, you know, we, we spoke, we, we really spoke, we spoke about his praises before the game, and my goodness already, he wants to impose himself. Hey, he doesn't need the big man, the veteran. And we talk about the importance of Joey Mongola's defense coach with his aggressive rush defense in your face, and we saw the fruits of that labor here today, just consistently pushing them back, a couple big hits, and they just looked out of sync to the Sharks attack, mm. through some foolish offloads, didn't go to hand. Abrams just gets dragged into touch. Ragdolled by Anu Boet to the two cap Springbok. <laughs> yeah, Marcus, that dominance we were speaking out before the game is already proving to be a real, real factor for us here. Uh, the Sharks are going to in big trouble, I'm telling but you. But huge now, Joe Fonsell to feed the line up. I'm told the fans, you know, uh, you know Joe, I, I must be a fanboy because I'm, you know, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of Joe. I sent him a message on Instagram saying, Congrats on the start. And he said, He really he said it's going to be a huge one. He really is keen for this one, boy. Oh, dropping names, KK, okay, <laughs> as Chris Smith kicks. Very high as well. It's taken by David Krill. Beautiful work from the fullback. Unfortunately, the Sharks got over it and stole it. Yeah, um, I think someone's collapsing over the, over the right here. Yeah. Someone off his feet there, Marcos. So unfortunate. It was a pinpoint accurate kick from Chris Smith. David Krill did everything right. Got up in the air. Penalty unfortunately goes against the Vodacom Bulls who have a 7 0 or oh, sorry, 5 0 lead. Chris Smith did miss the kick. Getting close to 10 minutes gone here at Loftus Fastfold. Yeah. Clay, Clay No Junior, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Saying Mark on Stolz Pillar. And you know, we really want them to make us proud, don't we, Marcos? And they're really, already, in, in, this, in this initial encounter, they are really making us proud. So keep them coming to all the fans. Remember, you may win. Keep us, send your question. 
Send your, your words of your words of um, support to the boys in the Curry Cup final, and you can win a year's supply of Carling Black Label. And remember, if you do win it, invite me to ours. Salsi Sharks, more time. They've got a well manufactured more here. It looks very well structured, and it's inching into Vodacom Bull towards the Vodacom Bull 22 meter line. But now they come away with it. Jeremy Ward, Lano Kronia, Cohen Bosch. Good tackle, Maros Tambue. Very good tackle from the athletic number 11. Oh, Another big Harry tackle, Harold Foster. Oh, he's ready. He's up for it, isn't he, Mogos? <laughs> Harold Foster's on a mission today. Here comes Lionel Kronia. Puts boot to ball. He's looking to get between David Krill, Cornell Hendricks. Might just watch this go into touch. That's a very well placed kick from the Sharks pivot. About five meters out now, Vodacom Bulls. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. Harold Foster uh, is on more of a mission than um, someone I know in Newtown a couple of nights ago, Mogos. <laughs> Line out time here for Joe and Sale under a lot of pressure, just five meters out from his own try line. Must find his jumpers, and you can bet your mortgage on the uh, Salsi Sharks contesting this line out. Where do we go here, KK? Former hooker yourself, and you played rugby. Do you go to uh, front or middle or back of the line out? No, I think I think um, I'll, I'll go front. Janko Swanepoel, straight up, get the ball down. There yep. you go. You called it. Taken in the air was Janko Swanepoel. Offside, sir. So yeah. offside at line out time. And as a result, the Vodacom Bulls let off the hook there. We have an opportunity to uh, kick this uh, very far away from our trial line. And, and, and Marcos, <laughs> that roar, you know, every time the Bulls get a penalty, every time the Bulls, you know, just, you know, every time the Bulls have so such a dominant, it's so beautiful in Loftus. But imagine when all 60,000 of us all here, it's going to be such a treat. My Can't word. wait. And as soon as those gates open at Loftus Fast, I'll best believe the Blue Faithful will spill into the stadium. Yes, yes. And I can't wait to meet the Blue Faithful, Marcos. Yeah. Joe Fonsell, he's been a very accurate line time so far. The young man standing in for Skalke Erasmus. He's got Jan Hendrik Vessels breathing down his neck off the bench as well with Johan Grobela away. And of course, Bismarck Duplessis, the big news oh. of the week, signing for the Vodacom Bulls. Yeah, childhood hero of mine, Marcus. You know, we've been ranting about him all, you know, for the, for the whole week leading up to it. And such a treat. Yeah, to have Bismarck Duplessis and you've got Joe Fonsell. I've, I've, I've got two guys. I've got to, to fanboy, another man to fanboy over. <laughs> 11 minutes in, he had Loftus fast fault. Vodacom Bulls, the mall has gone to ground and the Sharks have done very well to stymie that momentum and prevent the ball from coming out. As a result, they'll have a scrum. The ball was unplayable, but sloppy there from the Vodacom Bulls pack. They need to iron, it, uh, iron out those errors. It was like as Tom's the toy, the Springbok tight head that uh, was a menace in that mall. But um, just a word again on Joe Marcos, and this is uh, obviously not nothing to do about me, like, like, like having a soft spot for Joe. But it just shows what Jake believes in him. You know, you know, the man's been injured for so long. He's, he, when we spoke to him, he said he played 20 minutes. Um, um, in, in, when in his first game back, he was happening and popping, and he's starting a Curry Cup final. So I think that just shows his, his prowess and like what they actually think of him in the coaching ranks. It shows that he's got dog as well. He's got dog in him. Yeah. He's, uh, he's not afraid. He's a confident young man. The former Afi's head boy as well. He's got a good good cop on his shoulders. <laughs> and, uh, a good lid. A good lid. <laughs> <laughs> like us today. Yeah, fresh really lids. Fresh lids for the boys. <laughs> fresh lids for curry cups. Eh? No humber to feed the scrum. First scrum of the game. Immediately goes to ground. We'll have a reset there. Very, very interested to see how Gerard Stenekamp operates here against Thomas de Toy. Gerard Stenekamp. Physical behemoth at 128 kg, six foot four, going against an even bigger man, Tom Statoy. He's about 135 kgs, but Stenerkamp is a shrewd, wily operator. Even for a young man, he's a great scrummaging technician on the loose head side. Best believe, even though he's going against a more experienced man, he's got some tricks up his sleeve. Must assert ourselves here, KK. Crucial. Mm, yeah, this is a big scrum here. Can the Vodacom Bulls win I'm, the I'm, physical I'm, I'm battle? I'm interested in the Quizimona v Amone Smith battle there, Marcos. Solid hit immediately goes down. The Sharks are not going to come with it. We're going to have a restart. Good scrum. Mone Smith getting some plaudits. And there's a bit. There's a lot of chat there in the front rows. Vodacom Bulls like that scrum. They think that Mone Smith got the better of Mona on the hit there. Mm. I'd like to see that again, but I think he did. We're going to move. The grass is churning a little bit. Another scrum, another opportunity to get one over our Durban-based rivals. The 
boys from the coast, another team from the coast will try to take us on. It's yeah, it's been it's been but this scrum we obviously lacks days ago. Here we go now. I'm keen, quiz and random one is but this look there. Let's it's believe we're not gonna get a restart here. Whatever happens, a penalty will be awarded if this ball doesn't come out. It does no humba. Jeremy Ward cuts in field, gets Good tackled. Play. They're going down the blind side now. Vi Hinku Fenter. It's a good carry from him. Seven smashes, seven there. Again, they go blind side. Richardson. He's swallowed up by Mornay Smith. Mornay Smith, I tell you what, gets through a lot of work for a tight head prop. <laughs> he really does, Mongus. He's literally at every second ruck. Nohamba. Kranya. Grobala driven backwards. Defense has looked very up to the task here. Thomas the Toy. Richardson. Leave Mornay Smith again. This wow. Every third ruck. Got an injured on him. Kranja, Koch, Van Furen. Van Furen. The tackle there from Chris Smith. Brave, brave pivot he is. Lionel Kranja, Mona. Good oh, tackle. By Mazal Mazal. Mazal. The, and the counter the shot. Gives you. The counter ruck here from the Vodacom Bulls, but they're unsuccessful. Richardson. Nohamba. Lionel Kranja, he's marshaled his troops well. Penkle hasn't had much opportunity for him. It is so early days. They're going backwards at a rate of not sure the Salsi shots. Is, this is such good defence. Joe Mangalo must be so proud. I've never seen Joe so calm on the side of the He moves now. Like it's working today. So tell you what, Dylan Richardson's had about four carries in just this uh, series of play, and he hasn't made a meter on any no. of them. He's just been driven back to Natal. <laughs> Shock's looking to tie out here now. They're going through the phases, but they're not getting anywhere. Koch again from Furen. Good tackle from Chris Smith. He's made two great tackles here on the uh, touchline. Close to He's us. Holding. He's holding on. It. And it's been stolen. It looks like there might be a steal there. It's ferocious contest again with Marcel Kutsia. Marosh Tamwe. 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 Ruan Nokia. Inside boy. He's got Zuckberg on his inside shoulder. He give Oh, the dummy. Should have given it. Ruan Nokia should have given it. It's off, off his, his feet. feet. Jeremy Ward on his knees steals the ball. He's come away with it. We still don't know how that happened. He was on his knees ripping that ball. Beautiful break from Ruan Nokia, Marcel Kutsia and Marosh Tamwe. Feel that, that that pass needed to go from Nokia. Yeah, I didn't need to go. Um, but but um, you, you know what, Marcus, um, I think he was thinking, you know, what you get taught in training. You'd rather, you know, not give the 50-50 if you're not sure, certain about it. Just keep the ball in, you know. I think he did the right thing. You know, um, because he is a number five at the end of the day. And if it wasn't for an illegal steal there on the deck by yeah. Jeremy Ward, who was on his blatantly on his knees, it would I have mean, been uh, would have been a recycle and opportunity to go wide, wide and I mean, put some, I, I, some I, I, more I, I, pressure. I, I agree with you. Like, I, like it's an, basically an empty Loftus Fairfield, and everyone, everyone in an empty Loftus Fairfield can tell you that that was off his feet. But we moved, don't we? There's a couple of shocks, buggers, <laughs> moving. <laughs> Chris Smith kicks it deep. Comes Lionel Cronier. He's gone through his paces there at fly off. Up and under by him. David Creel's under it as well. Safe as houses. As always, David Creel. He's just grown into that number 15 jersey. It's been beautiful yeah, to watch. Here's yeah, a meteoric yes. rise. He's been impressive, eh, Marcus? Really has, boy. Not much possession for Vodacom Bulls. Seems like the Sharks have just gone phase after phase after phase with no reward whatsoever. It's, it's just been our defense is just high. It's been so strong, you know. Joe, oh, solid. Shout out again to Joe Mangalo. Another good box kick. That's a big chase here. Oh, Abrams does man. very well to collect that ball that was uh, all over the place. And he makes a good carry, but Joe Fonsell brings him down. They go blindside again. Larue Roots. Yeah, Pin play. There's space for Jeremy Ward. Chris Smith, he pops it back inside. Pen plays on the yes, end of it. Yes, Marosh, yes! Marosh Tamwe, Marosh work Tamwe. of art from the left wing, dives in the air, calls for the mark. That is how you read a game. That is how you read a game. Absolute perfection. Masterclass on show there by Marosh Tamwe. And he will clear. He was under a lot of pressure there, Marcos. That is, that is big, big, big kahunas there from Marosh Tamwe. And he clears. Marosh Tamwe is not renowned for his kicking whatsoever. It skews off the boot, but uh, he saved the that. day. Gets it up past the 22. A couple of sharks. Uh, uh, non-playing reserves here laughing their heads off the kick but uh, they couldn't get on the field so I like your Abrams yeah, let's, let's have a word on him yes, he, he is explosive isn't he good ball from Pentley as well the first real opportunity for the Sharks to uh, breach the defence good work from Arash Tamwe I know the kick wasn't sublime but the defensive work to scramble back and, and, and save the day there with the Pentley breathing down his neck very well done by him this cup and takes it down Sharks, that's a good more from the Sharks. We need to stifle that very quickly. 
and we do. And Maul's gone to ground. I doubt Nohamba's going to get that ball out. He's not getting that ball out. Well done, Vodacom Bulls. Brilliant Maul defense there. Stifled. Absolutely stifled. Arachlo Anu Burt in the thick of it. Anu Burt has been an absolute warrior in the opening 19 minutes. Yeah, he's been immense. The forward pack is really putting in a shift, Jamal, because it's been a battle of the forwards. And this is, this is to all the fans, I'm looking at you. Hey, Leonardo, hello, Leonardo. Thank you again for coming in. Um, and also, you were saying Moy Arno. He's really agreeing with us. You were saying Moy Arno. Um, Clinton Coupon sending us about five balls. Yes, we're with you there. Um, and Rian on Brutus Blow. Yes, Rian, welcome. Lots of love to you again, sir. Mark Bromfield, Gerard Dusso, Mia Lance. Mia Lance saying no fry, yeah. No fry, yeah, mate. For V, screw blow, Billa. On screw blow, Billa. My fro. And just a reminder that uh, if you want a, a year's supply of beer, courtesy of uh, Calling Black Label, make sure you comment and make sure you share the post as well. That's vital. And you could walk away with a year's supply of Calling Black Label. What an incredible prize that is, KK. Don't, don't forget to tell them to put to, to in my house. And I've said about 50 times. That's the, the third time you made that joke. <laughs> we have a two joke policy on the show. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Penalty yes. from the scrum. Vodacom Bulls tightening the screws. Well done side, as well. It's Mornay Smith. He's just a beast. The vanilla gorilla, Mornay Smith. Tightening the screws. There's a fight there. Thomas the Toy in the thick of it. It's a little bit of handbags. A little bit of handbags. A bit of argy bargy, as they say. How's your fan? Springbok Thomas the Toy does not like being the uh, recipient of a penalty there whatsoever but uh have to give props to uh, Mone Smith to Cup. they've been exceptional just under 20 minutes to go in the first half of the Carling Curry Cup final here Vodacom Bulls still five up it's been a close encounter Vodacom Bulls haven't had much territory or possession but still find themselves ahead on the scoreboard and the defense has been rock solid yeah and, and, and you know you know Marcus you know and in, in rugby defense I think is the person we all know in any sport defense especially in finals especially in finals the most integral part and our defense just has been like breaking and every time we've had the ball we've looked dangerous and that is what you want to see in a final lineups look picture perfect as well shout out to Joe Van Sale thrown in as a youngster in the number two jersey and he's uh, been pinpoint Joe. accurate with his lineouts and good in scrum time as well here, here, here he, he comes here comes Anu but a big carry oh. straight through Dylan Richardson and the offload Harold Forster, my word, the, the Vodacom Bulls look so dangerous and they're going against open defense. Lionel Mapu. Mapu's got so much space to work with. He puts a chip through. It's brilliantly worked. Lionel Mapu, beautiful kick. Just stabs one through. It was yes. on there as well, but the Celsius Sharks defense was sixes and sevens. More out of sync than a Chinese movie. <laughs> Yeah, Marcus, the Bulls are playing real championship rugby, aren't they? You know, like, just, you know, picking their moments, picking their moments, you know, to, to get, to find territory. You know, um, the, the decision making from Lionel Marple, Winnie the Pooh, where are you? The man is dipped in gold and dipped in honey, just to put it in the corner there. And now, we, we've got the territory. We won't have the ball, but territory in rugby is crucial. It's where you play the rugby. So, at times, and we're playing the rugby in the right areas of the field. Also looks like he's uh, wiped syrup on his face and fallen face first into a sand pit, does uh, Lionel Mapu. <laughs> Beautiful beard, I must say. Here comes the Salty Sharks. Kick it back. No, that that, that was balls. quality. <laughs> that's, like that, that that's exactly what it looks like. That's <laughs> <laughs> what it looks like. Uh, Lionel Mapu, Winnie the Pooh. What's a sign? What What's a, a man? What a player. Springbok number 13. I'll tell you, even though uh, possession's been uh, sparse for the Vodacom Bulls, when they have it, the ball in their hands, they look so lethal. Now we have another opportunity to launch an attack. As the, as the one and two form, Kheri <laughs> to Joe. Yeah. Full compliment in terms of the pack at line of time, so probably going more time here. Oh, now we go back line ball, interesting. Chris Smith, Marcel Kutsia, skip. Oh. Line on Mapu, beautiful. Let's go, line. Let's He's go, one on one. He's got numbers on his outside. Yeah. He does it pass and he doesn't need to. He scores the shot. Let's go. Ready the Pooh, where are you, baby? Woo! The <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Can oh, we just say, just, just dissecting, analyzing that try, Marcel Kutsia was set up as the decoy in midfield, skipped him, beautiful unders line by Lionel Mapu, it's just a beautiful ball as well, <laughs> Harold Forster pops it, Lionel Mapu Ooh, runs straight it. over it. Uh, I, think it's, I, know, I think it's fine, but 12 to 13, you know, the midfield, that midfield has been so solid, and you know, it's just, you know, dissecting that win of the poo again, just unbelievable lines, like you said, Pythagoras would be so proud, um, it's, it's unbelievable. It's two on one with, with Abrams, he could have thrown the pass out to Davy Krill, but Abrams read it quite well, went off him, Lionel Mapu, beautiful presence oh, of mind, and, uh, keeps it, and scores the try. Great work, Lionel Mapu, as we go for a kick. Sharks bench crying out for a forward pass. 
very clearly <laughs> flat. And the classic, and the classic, um, the rooster, the rooster from Lionel Mapu. <laughs> Under the the lines, line, Lionel, as we like to call him. <laughs> Lionel, the lines from, runs from, the, the lines from Lionel. Chris Smith right in front of the posts. Opportunity to add the extra 16 minutes to go. The Colin Carrick Cup final. Sinks you it. bet. He sinks it. I can't get over that. Harold Forster, Lionel Mapu. Is there a better combination? Is there better? Pizza and beer? <laughs> oh, another one? Yeah, man. Pizza and beer. That's the no. best combination That's I can think of. Like maybe, I don't know. <laughs> beer Peanut and butter and jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly, yes. <laughs> Lionel Mapu and Harold Forster running lines off of each other. Just beautiful. The unders line. Just always just lines, the same page. lines upon lines <laughs> upon lines. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable stuff here at Loftus Fastfold. Beautiful on ball, Kirkness Harold Road, Foster as well. The greatest just stadium, greatest rugby arena for me in world rugby. They go back to Ulrich Lowe. Wow, Ulrich Lowe flexes yeah. his muscles. There's only one team in it at the moment. Yeah, he's got a magnet to those kickoffs, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah he does. Yeah. <laughs> Knock on, unfortunately, from the Vodacom Pools in their own 22 meter line. Looks like Gerrit Stenekamp, the uh, behemoth in the number one jersey, who might have spilt the ball forward. Scores 12 0 after, well, with 15 minutes to go. He had Loftus Fastfold in the Colin Curry Cup final. Having another look at Ulrich Lowe, just the power just throws Van der Koch away. Oh, I mean, Koch. take a looks seat. Like we, sir. Looks like we might go upstairs here. They might say he's leading. We are going upstairs. We'll have another look at this no, carry. No, Not sure no. who the guilty party is. We can be leading with the forearm, but it doesn't look like. Uh, looks like Van Koch into the collision very then, high. Hey, Marcus, then we, uh, then we, we need to. Oh, it's a high tackle from Van Koch. Uh, it's a, it's a shoulder straight to the jawline of Ulrich Lowe. <laughs> I was going to say if, he, if, if they were saying he's leading, I was going to say we need to call um, Dwayne to tell the ref that this is not touchies. <laughs> Not sure what we're looking at. If it's a high tackle from Van Koch, it's on the line. I would rather just see that go. To be fair, yeah, even as a biased Vodacom Bulls commentator, yeah. let's let rugby be rugby. Yeah, yeah. let rugby be a rugby. Up loft us fair stuff. Speaking of rugby, is there anything better that goes with rugby than beer? Opportunity to win a lifetime. Sorry, not a lifetime. Mm. Hey, that, that'd be wild. <laughs> that'd be wild. A year's <laughs> supply of beer. Courtesy <laughs> of calling back. If you gave me a lifetime of supply of beer, I'd, I'd, I'd be. I'd, I'd rethink my, my career choices, Mark. Was a lifetime supply of beer, mate. Jeez. <laughs> so opportunity, if you're at home, to win a year's supply of calling black label. All you need to do is comment with a question, with a lack of word of encouragement for the boys, and make sure you share the post as well. You could walk away with 12 cases of calling black label. Unbelievable prize from our Lucas friends. Lucas hello, sir. Op the blow machine. We agree with you, sir. Um, Abrim van Veen, go Billa. Yeah, keep them coming. Valdino Schaffers saying great stuff. Blue Bulls, we can do it. Line out here, Vodacom Bulls. Joe van Sale, he's been absolutely perfect. <laughs> and remember here, you, Johan, from a couple of weeks back, he's saying, <laughs> force us, we are lost. Yes, he is. It's like a well set more here by the Vodacom Bulls, plying their way forward up to the halfway line. Still going strong, Zuck Berger. Omar oh, from Marius, one of essays in the referee. And there was a knock on at the mall yeah. by the Vodacom Bulls. But you know, the, the position of the field we're at, Marcos, we just, we just, like rugby for the, for the Sharks right now, I just feel like, it just feels like an, a never ending pit. You know, they're not, they're not, they're not being, they haven't, they haven't scared me at all this game, Marcos. And, you know, you know, we, 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 we like to chuck shade, obviously, because this is probably one of our biggest rivals in, in club rugby at the moment, but they really haven't, re like, threatened us properly, except for that. That my dose combo mark, we really, really sealed it and you know, we, we moved on from that. Running repairs for our captain Marcel could say, but you're right, Cake. I think the defense has been perfect, it's been uh, sublime from Joey Mongolo. It's been aggressive, it's been in your face, it's been good line speed, good charge, and uh, they've just been pushing the Salsi Sharks to the boundaries. And the Sharks seem to be happy to go through the phases, they'll go 12, 15 phases, but not make any ground. 
Mm. Yeah, the, the, yeah, and it's just, it's, and, and like you said, it's just, just squeezing that midfield, you know, you know, just yeah, the balls are getting to the wings, you know, squeezing the midfield, like meeting them, you know, not letting them get over that vantage line, and that just, that's just great to plumb, like again, to Joey Mangala, so. And, I mean, you can make throw as many passes as you like, but if you're not getting over the advantage line and, and winning the gain line battle, you're never going to get anywhere. You're just going to keep going backwards or side to side as they've been. And that's just a credit to defense, but also the physical nature of this Vodacom Bulls pack and, and, and the backline plays as well, because Lionel Mapu has, and Chris Smith have really been sinking their shoulders as well. No, they have, they have. They really have. And, 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 and you know when, when guys like Madosh Tambo and, like, and, and David Kilt don't have to make as many tackles as maybe in a, in a, in a normal game they would, you know that the, the, you know the guys, the, the, the 10, 12, 13 channels are being, are being covered and that's what you want. And yeah. Definitely. And every time I say Harold Forster or, or Lionel Mapu get the ball in their hands, you know something's going to happen. Mm, definitely. It's been so. great to watch. Chris Smith, shout out to him. He's been able to unlock this back line. And uh, his kicking game's been, apart from the one miss post, has been really good out of hand. I think he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's settled into that number 10 jersey. You wouldn't think he was a, a late replacement. Yeah. Abrams, good tackle again, Chris Smith. Brave Man tackle. Henku Fenta, he's trying to be the hard-nosed Ulrich Lowe, Arnu Boerta type, but he gets driven back at a rate of knots by Arnu Boerta. Arnu Boerta tells him, no, no, this is my, this is my playground, sir. Thomas the Toy. Hates his first man. And see Ulrich Lowe missing too many tackles. They're going to go blindside again. This time to LaRue Roots. Three players on him. Harold Forster makes a good tackle in the number 12 jersey. Nohamba. Van Furen. They're going nowhere, the Salsi Sharks. Oh. They've made a different beast today. Kornbosch looking to uncork the defense. Here comes Pinkle, Ward, Abrams. He is dangerous. He skins Cornwall Hendrick. Gets the ball back in field. Van Koch has possession. Vodokan Bull scrambling. Salsi Sharks, most dangerous they've looked all game. Here comes Pepsi Butelezi, the captain. Good tackle by Yanku Swanapu. Bosch. Lano Kronia straightens, gets met. On the 22-meter line. Dylan Richardson runs a good line into the 22-meter line. Salsi Sharks, again they go blindside. Kronia, he's pulled the strings today. Henku Fenta runs straight no, at Harold Foster. Harold Foster, who stands up. The midfield, the midfield, boys. You know, Harold Foster and Lionel Mapu have been supply markers. Again, talk about another combination. Yanku Swanapu, Renokia tackling in tandem. They go back for the penalty against Salsi. Sorry, against the Vodacom Bulls. Looks like, yeah, the Vodacom Bulls were offside there. And as a result, we'll go for a penalty right in front of the posts. What do they do here? You 12 0 down in a Colin Curry Cup final. 10 minutes to go in the first half. Do you, do you try <laughs> Mark, and get on the board? <laughs> Mark, you try to get on the board because they're, they're going nowhere very, very slowly. So you try to get on the board. Um, get Cohen to do what. He's all he's good at. <laughs> all he's good at. Yeah, <laughs> to do what he's what is good at is kicking the ball over the balls. Looks like Yanku Swan pulled the guilty party for the offside line. Oh, he was a touch ahead. Easy to be a bit ahead when he's six foot seven as well. Go into kick here. Right in front of the post, back him to sink it. Less than 10 minutes to go in the Colin Curry Cup Finals first half. It's over. It's over from Cohen Bosch. So no, you can bet your house on that. I'll give him that. You can bet your house on this man because he can kick a ball. So the Salsi Sharks score their first points of this Colin Curry Cup Final 2021 rendition. 12 3 is the score here at Loftus Fast Felt. Vodacom Bulls, of course, leading by nine, with about nine minutes to go in this first half. Yeah, Marcus, yeah, 100%, you know, the, um, the, the Vodacom Bulls have really stuffed with the Sharks. If, if you're just joining us now, it's just been a real, real defensive masterclass from the Bulls, and we just picked up moments. Every time we've had ball in hand, we've been so destructive, you know. Our midfielders have been really good. Lionel Marple and Harold Foster have really been the shining lights in the back line, then our forwards have really just been destructive. Oh! Oh, Marosh Tamwe almost reclaiming the kick off there. Brilliant awareness by the left winger. He's really worked on his aerial skills, I must say. I know he didn't quite collect it, but he did a lot to contest. Haven't seen the ball in this this half of the yeah. you know yeah. of the field too much, KK, yeah. but yeah. um yeah. Vodacom Bulls firmly in control still, even though they've they've struggled for possession and it's, territory. It's been quite a strange game, eh, in terms of like the, the Bulls, Bulls have just been so so composed. Marosh, great takes it beautifully, Marosh Tamboy. Now this rock is right ahead of us with a penalty yeah, going against yeah. Salsi Sharks. Nice release! Dylan Richardson didn't release and Zuckberger taps and goes and here comes Davy Krill. 
into the 22 meter line. Vodacom Bulls now looking to flex their muscles on the front foot. Gerard Seneca back inside. Joe Fonsale. Let's, Let's go, Joe. Good carry, Joe Fonsale. 110 kg hooker. The ball passes straight, but there's Lionel Mapu in the wider channels. Looks to consolidate. Keeps us on the front foot. Looking to press the accelerator now, the Vodacom Bulls. Janku Swanepoel. He'll carry for you all afternoon. Zach Berger now going through the phases. Gerard Stenekamp. Quick ball, quick recycle on the arms out from Maris van Vesey. The free play, run up here. Yeah, Marcus, it's knocking, break. boy. It's knocking. The devil's about to break. Zach Berger. Zach Berger sniping. We still have Arich position. Arich 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 away. Arich Arich He's Arich over the lines, Arich Lowe. The ball comes spilling out. We'll go back for the penalty. Indeed. Great rugby, no. It's coming, Marcus. The devil's breaking. Wow. The Vodacom Bulls look so threatening with the ball in their hands. <laughs> I just love him. I just feel so bad for the boys in black and white. The boys from <laughs> from the, um, KZN, you know. Oh, it's just really, they really, really. When when they um, when they're defending, they just they can't they can't get a break. If, 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 there's, if, there's, if it's not Arnold Bird trying to do, he's giving an offload. If it's not Zach Berger sniping, there's someone running off Zach Berger. It's just unbelievable. How's this for a show of force here? KK Alrichlo tapping and going. He passes on the inside. Big carry. There's a Gerrit Stinnekamp. Come no, on! It's on! This is dominant. This is absolute dominance from the China darlings. Wow. Captain Fantastic, Marcel could see that. Of course, we've been saying it's in vogue, the tap and go, not to opt for the line, not to opt for the post or the scrum. Tap and go, Ulrich Lowe. Everyone thinks he's gone cruising over then, that. Then Passes <laughs> on an inside to a pod. Marcel could see the captain on the end of it, and he just runs right over, barrels yeah. over the Sharks defense Marcus, and scores a try. It's just a complete physical annihilation at the moment. Um, you know, um, Marcel could see just rampaging over Pepsi, which is supposed to be a physical threat himself. Ah, oh, I feel I feel bad for these boys. It's, it's, it's tough. And you, you back uh, Chris Smith to, to add the extras here right in front of the post. But again, Vodacom Bulls flexing their muscles, tightening the screws. And just, I mean, physically, the Sharks aren't in this battle at the moment. This is, uh, this is uh, you know, uh, you know, you know we, we've seen the boys play. This has been such a clean performance. You know, defensively, we just picked up moments. It's been like a, it's been like a test, a Springbok test match performance, you know, at times. You know, just strong defense, picking our moments. Oh, sharks are in big trouble here. Chris Smith splits the uprights. Six minutes to go in the first half of the Colin Curry Cup final. 19-3 is the score. Vodacom Bulls. It is a very different picture to the last time Colin Curry Cup final was hosted here at Loftus Fasfold. At that time, well, at this time in that game, the Sharks very firmly ahead. Very different story today with uh, just yeah. under six minutes to go in the half. Yeah, obviously you don't count your chickens before they hatch, but as it is with five minutes to go, Marcus 19-3 up. It's yeah, it's yeah. yeah. I'd say if you could ever be more than two converted tries ahead going into halftime at a Colin Curry Cup final, you uh, Especially pretty much have one hand on yeah. the trophy. I don't want to be a little yeah. overconfident yeah. here, but one hand on the Especially trophy. Especially at Loftus, Marcos. Marcel could say he's carried, I mean, all season he's carried with Venom. Chris Smith. That is just, I mean, that's, that's poetry beautiful. in motion. That's beautiful. clockwork. See, simplicity is key for Chris, eh? Yeah. Chris really, really is marshalling the troops there and he's just keeping it simple, you know, just great decision making, knows where to kick. He looks then, so poised and, yeah. and, and comfortable in that 10 jersey. You would think that starting Colin Curry Cup final, filling in the shoes of Goose, you would be a little bit apprehensive, nervous, but he just looks cool, calm, poised. It's like he's playing touchies on, on the beach in Clifton. Yeah, he's been here before, hasn't he, Marcos? He's been here before. Line out for the South Sea Sharks. It's very scrappy at line out time. They seem to have come away with it. But there's a knock on and we'll go back for a scrum to the Vodacom Bulls. Really coming undone now, the South Sea Sharks. Physically, they've been outmuscled. Set piece time, they're starting to get dominated. Their first scrums now in the line outs, they're struggling to secure their own ball. Around the park, their attack's been lackluster. Hasn't really, haven't really been able to create much at all. And uh, defensively, they've really struggled to contain the likes of Maros Tambue, Lionel Mapu, Harold Forster, Ulrich Lowe. And Marcos, on that note quickly, just remember to the fans, just remember it's, it's a big prize today. I think if you're, big, if you're a beer supporter, you're going to get a, a year's supply of darling Black Label beer. It's unreal. Um, so like, remember, send in, share the posts, send in your questions um, and comments and send your words of support for the Blue Bulls. And the, and the Blue Bulls Oh. Oh, yes, they are 19 3 ahead. We're just under four minutes to go. 
and on that note, uh, uh, I'm, I'm Kerbin Bono saying Mapu supporting to pass. So, uh, he's just, just just giving his praise for Lionel Mapu and having yeah, having that's the midfield been good at uh, Marcos. Um, you know, Heinrich Krill saying or um on vote ignored. Um, <laughs> chatting about <laughs> chatting about the sharks there. And then Gustavo Scumbi saying go Bella. Yes. But, but also going from a point where Senses was kind of seen as maybe a soft spot in this roster, being a bit of a weakness, to now you Lionel Mapu, Harold Forster, Cornel Hendricks, who plays most of his rugby at 12, Stedman Hans, Marco Janssen van Furen. I mean, the quality is endless. You can go on and on and on. But how can you displace Harold Forster and Lionel Mapu? They just work together. They just come as a pair, don't they? Marcos, it's, yeah, for me, it's, 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 it's just, it's, you know, it's like a hand in a glove. It's such a great midfield. They've really, really, since Lionel's coming, that, Harold Foster is like, you know, he plays, they play off each other, you know, they read each other so well. Ah, oh, you, you, yeah, it's so good, Marcus. Fortunately, the penalty at scrum time has gone against Gerard Stenekamp, so the Sharks have an opportunity with just under three minutes to go to uh, try and claw back this deficit that is 17 points, more than two converted tries in the Colin Carey Cup final, in the first half of the Colin Carey Cup final. Cohen looks for the sideline, he finds it. So you would imagine with two and a half odd minutes to go here in the first half of the Colin Curry Cup final that this would really be the last, last chance saloon for the Salsi Sharks in this first half? Yes, yes. And, and, Mark, and, and Mark, if they, you know, um, if, if, if you had to look from a, just a pure rugby perspective, if they really want to, you know, go into the half with some confidence, they would have to get something out of this, you know. Either, uh, get, like, you know, get over the trial line. Or and Yanku Swanepoel like, steals it. say that. Yanku Swanepoel, I know he's your boy. Yes, 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 yes. You know, these young boys, Yanku Swanepoel, you know, that number four jersey, he's made his own. He really has, since Valt's since Valt's um, um, you know, absence, he really has been strong, that number four jersey, hasn't he? And Yanku again. He's a pillar of strength, that number four jersey at the front of the lineout. He's so dangerous. Almost the Urban Itzabeth mold at the front of the lineout. So good on the contest. He just gets his fingertips to it. And the and strength in those hands to just slot the ball back onto the Vodacan Bulls and, side. And I'm sure it bodes well for all the Bulls supporters, you know, you to, to have like I was like Yanku Swanpool Ron, okay, you know, we all, the Bulls always a franchise with great locks, you know, Springbok locks. And to see those guys, you know, those youngsters really doing the Future job. Future Springboks. Future Springboks. So yeah. rock time, it looks like the Vodacan Bulls have slowed that ball down massively. Have they won the penalty? No, it's gone against them. Or well, it's a short arm at that far side rock there off the line out. So just inside the 22 meter line, minute and a half to go in the first half. Last chance for the Salsi Sharks to uh, close in on that 17-point uh, lead. The sun is setting. Marcos is sunning, setting over Pretoria, the capital of and, South and Africa. And on the Salsi Sharks. And, yeah, it's setting. Yeah, shame. It's setting, and it's going to be if if, if, they, if they can't play like this, if, if they just can't, they, they really they, they just look like they're out of ideas at the moment. And if they carry on like this, I, I don't know how, how this is going to end. Because um, the Bulls are, are ruthless in terms of on defense, and they're just picking the moment, like you said. And, 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 and ruthless and clinical on attack as well. We haven't had a, a whole heap of opportunities on attack, but every opportunity we've had, we've capitalized. Yeah, yeah I couldn't agree. Couldn't agree more. 45 seconds go in the first half of the Colin Carey Cup final. It's absolutely flown by, but it's been punctuated by very, very obvious Vodacom Bulls dominance as a kick stab through Corner Hendricks. Oh, Hendricks, now here we go. Nice. Done very well on the counter. We're just outside our 22 That's meter high. line. It's a penalty yes. for a high tackle. Looks like it's going against Henku Fenter, the blindside flank. And uh, Vodacom Bulls have the opportunity to clear their lines. And with 20 seconds to go, we'll see if we try to mount another attack or if we're happy to uh, take a 17 point lead into half time. Yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable season. I, I, I love that. Unbelievable, but it is literally unbelievable. The kick from Chris Smith there is just sublime. There's no words for it. Perfect, pinpoint accurate. And I think now, relatively deep in Salsi Sharks territory, Vodacom Bulls are not going to let their foot off of the throat of the Salsi Sharks. We're going to look for another try here, or at least a three pointer. As that famous Utah goes at Loftus Fasfalt. <laughs> and, and the boys at Uppies can definitely hear it. The boys at Uppies are probably standing up, really stoked to see this. <laughs> as uh, as the head boy, <laughs> the former head boy, about to throw that last line out of the game, on unbelievable the on their behalf, on the half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Nokia takes it in the line out. More time, Vodacom Bulls. There they go. Steamrolls ahead. Gerard Stenekamp, good carry from him. Zuck Berger. Going down the blind side now, Ulrich Lowe. Big carry from the massive eight. This man. will be insane, Marcus. If we can get, if we can get over the top. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh Anu Boeta spills it on the carry. Lano Cronier, opportunity to counter for the Salsi Shots. Here comes Vanekoch. There's nowhere to go. 
Nowhere to go, Marcos. That might be a high shot by Lionel Mapu there on Van der Koch. And it is. Celsius Sharks really looking to uh, get out of their half and, and, and mount some kind of counter. And fortunately, the high tackle there gets him out of jail, gives him one last opportunity to, to salvage some more points from this first half. <laughs> I know, I spoke about defense so much, but this is to sit in front of my eyes. Like the, it's a defensive masterclass by our two midfielders, Marcos. It they is. Are, it's they're literally working in tandem. Yeah, and they're just in your face. There's just, there's just no space for the Salsi Sharks outside backs to operate. Van Furen, last lineup was stolen by Janku Swanepoel. Let's see how this one goes. Happening right in front of us. He had lost his fast foul. Swanepoel looked to Contez to go over him. Nokia yes! feels it. If it's yes! not Swanepoel, it's Nokia. Now we'll put this ball out, I assume. Marcel Kutsia, unlikely man to end the half. Grubbers one into touch. And at half time in the Carling Curry Cup final, he had loft his fast while the vertical balls have run out to a 17 point lead. The score is 17 3. South Sea Sharks have really, not even really fired a shot, especially attack wise. And every opportunity the vertical balls have had, they've exploited to the best of their capabilities. Defensively, I think that's been the point of the first half. Defensive masterclass. Well done, Joey Mongolo. It's everything, it's everything we could have hoped for, everything we could have hoped for, and better. Joey Mangalo, defensive masterclass. All the kids watching at home, that's how you defend. Harold Foster, line them up, push shout out, boys. And I think it was, if you're a coach, Jake White will be very happy with that because we've minimized the mistakes, maximized the opportunity, set piece dominant. Yanku Swanepoel and Ruan Nokia have been kings of the skies, line our time. Scrum's gone well. I mean, Lionel Mapu, Harold Forster have been the two guys of the half for me. They've been exceptional. Chris Smith looks so poised and relaxed in that number 10 jersey. It's been a brilliant first half from the Vodacom Bulls. At halftime, the score is 19 points to 3. 17-point lead. We think we've got one hand on the Carling Curry Cup trophy. We'll see you for the second half.